What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm creating a video for Worldwide Tech Reviews. Uh, you can check out my channel as well which is Matt Saunders MCP uh, where I bring you all tutorials from Windows, Apple, uh, iDevices, all that sort of thing. Uh, so today I'm bringing you a video on a bit of software called LogMeIn. Now if you don't know what LogMeIn is, LogMeIn is a bit of software you install on your PC or Mac. And then what LogMeIn allows you to do, it allows you to connect to that PC from anywhere in the world. So you can remote control it, you can open up applications, you can check email, you can do basically whatever you like as if you were sat at the PC. Uh, so let's get on with it. So what you need to do, you need to open up your browser and go to www.logmein.com which will bring you to this website here. And then once you come to this site you have to create an account. Uh, so you basically have to click the link here. Uh, once you've clicked on that link, you fill in the form and it creates the account which is free. Uh, once you've created the account, you then need to log in. Okay, so then once you've logged in, you'll notice that you've got a section here called My Computers. Now this is the, all the computers that have the LogMeIn software installed. Uh, so obviously your PC won't have it, so you have to click on the Add Computer button. Okay, then so you get two options. You get LogMeIn Pro and you get LogMeIn Free. So the obviously the LogMeIn Free is free and the LogMeIn Pro you have to pay for. So with the free option, you get remote access to a Mac or a PC. You can use a wake, wake on LAN feature. You can do screen blanking, uh, clipboard sync, keyboard mapping, inactivity timeout. So if you leave it for a certain amount of time, it will lock the screen So for security purposes. Uh, Multi-monitor support. Uh, save passwords and that's about it you get for the free edition with the pro you get quite a lot more you get file transfer remote to local printing desktop sharing file sharing drag and drop file transfer the list goes on and on which you can have a look on the the website for the full list but for this demonstration we'll just choose the free version and then you need to untick the include a 14 day trial okay then so we'll then just click on continue and then all you have to do is click on download now, then that will download the piece of software to your PC. Once you've installed the LogMeIn software, if you come to the My Computers section, it will show you all of the PCs or Macs that have the software installed. Uh, so for example, I've got quite a few here. I've got a couple of servers, quite a few PCs. There's a Mac that I look after uh, and whatnot. So what we'll do if we pick on, say, this one here. So this is a server that I, I look after. So if I click on Remote Control, it then starts to connect to that P to the, the PC server, Mac, whatever it may be. Okay, then if we just then click on login. And while that's loading up, you can then see on the left hand side here, you've got home, remote control, preferences, help and disconnect. Okay, now that we've clicked on login, you can actually now see that I'm connected to the server and it's now asking me to press Control alt delete um, So we've got a few different options now. So if we look on the left-hand side, we've got Home, Remote Control, Preferences, Help and Disconnect. And then also along the top, we've got uh, a few options as well. We've got Quick Links, we've got like a keyboard icon, a magnifying glass and so on. Okay, so what we need to do for a Control alt delete we need to click on Quick Links and then select Control alt delete from here and what this will do it will add a shortcut next to the icons above okay now you can see we've got these three squares here which now show Control alt delete so if we click on that you can now see that it's changed the the interface now it's given us a connection alert so all we need to do now is literally click on login and that's now going to connect us through to the, what, in my case, it's going to connect me through to the server. And in your case, it will connect you through to your PC, your Mac, or whatever you're connecting to. And there you go. As you can see now, I'm connected to the server. I can see the desktop, so I can click on Start. I can basically do whatever I like now as if I was actually sat right next to that server. Okay, then, so if we just look at the options that we've got along the top, we click on options, we can go full screen, we can change the resolution, uh, so we can go higher or lower. If we go lower, we, obviously we can see more of the screen. Uh, we can go to view here, so we can go scale to fit, actual size, we can just zoom in and out slightly. Uh, we've got color quality, uh, so we can have it for fast speed or the best quality. Uh, we've got magnify, we've got quite a few different things. We can chat, so if somebody's actually sat next to it, we can chat to that user as well. 
so again there's quite a few options I'm not going to go through them all but you can explore yourself and that's basically how you connect to a PC over the internet from anywhere in the world um, what you can do as well if you want when you want to disconnect from the PC if you click on disconnect and then that brings you back to the LogMeIn website and you've disconnected from that PC or server. Okay, so thanks for listening. Please subscribe to Worldwide Tech Reviews. Please also subscribe to my channel, which is Matt Sarders MCP, and I'll catch you in the next video.